Uh, we have a large modern mixed use building that has several false fire alarms due to the building being over spec. What is the process to have the original fire service dumbed down so that we're not constantly being disturbed by false fire alarms? The number and type of heat smoke sensors installed. So the, the starting point for that is to get the original building design information. So most modern buildings these days at the design stage, a fire engineer would have been engaged and the fire engineer looks at a holistic view of the building and they have scope to vary the requirements of the building code of Australia. So you might have a high level fire detection system um, because you don't have another piece of fire equipment that was in the, the building code of Australia, but the fire engineer has deemed that the fire detection system will cover the requirement of whatever the other piece of fire equipment has, that has been left out. So if possible, if Wayne can get a hold of the original building design documents, look at the fire engineering report and see what was specified. And then to go to get it sorted out, engage another fire engineer to come out and have a look at the building and get their assessment on it. Um, because as well, the, the false alarms are annoying. There are some things you can do within the fire detection system uh, to alleviate the false alarms. There's a thing called alarm verification. So you need two alarms before the system will actually activate the sounders and call out the fire brigade. But that will be determined by the fire engineer.